Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of The Millionaire Detectives. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You know, I was kind of thinking about this. What if someone wants the Kambay family to be the reason for this? I don't know. I mean, mm. Like, they're blackmailing on my fucking mouth. That's how it starts. Oh. It's gotta be his mom. His mom are like Somebody close to death. Bruh. See, I love like the widescreen angle that we're kind of getting with this episode. I mean, it feels more like a movie. I don't know if it's because of the way I did it for none. Who knows? Who cares? But, okay. Who knows? Yes, ma'am. Why do you say you want to see? Oh, okay. But see, okay, hold on. We don't, we barely really know anything about his family. I have so many questions right now. Mm -hmm. Of course. Maybe whoever is doing this wants revenge on Cho and everyone else who was on this case. And so possibly still, they're using um, Dice Gay as blackmail, saying that he could have been the one who did all this. Maybe. I don't know. Something about this is right. Something's really fishy about this.
Nhanh cắt tạm bọn ít cách thì nó lại The butler? I don't know if I'm working or something, I'm just out. Huh. I want ice cream. And you didn't go- I mean, I know work's important, but damn. He's becoming way too obsessed with us. I'm looking into it too much, you know. It is, but you're going too far in this, and you two could get arrested. That or possibly even killed. Y'all so fucking hard headed. He dead too? Mm. 
This is what happens when you just say too much and you know too much and the next thing you know people start taking shit and you've gone mad. Of course. I mean, come on now. Who was the last person who showed you who you showed the key to? Come on now, put two and two together. Go back to present. Yeah. Of course. I mean, because this seems like the only way that you can be able to solve this case. Of course. Somebody's going to tamper with it because they don't want to be shown. Hmm? No. <sighs> but he didn't bomb it. That had to be someone else who possibly is blackmailing him to make you guys think that it's him. 
are <laughs> that from but <laughs> that from Butter. Oh my god. <laughs> Of course. If only they had that key. Somebody in this, like, out of these police officers, somebody has that key. Somebody lying. My money on him, cause he just mm -mm. somebody's true colors coming out. There it is. Hmm. Mm, could be. Because you're seeing that over and over again. He could be in purgatory. Was it chill?
Oh, okay. Okay, I still got a lot of... There's a lot of unanswered questions with this episode, honestly. It really is, but this is a good episode. But if he did kill her, which it makes the most sense, why though? That's something I'm not getting. So whatever... All really, any questions that I personally have about this episode are possibly going to get out with the answer not to say, hey, I don't know. But what was in the locker? Why were you so desperate and afraid to open this locker? Who was this he that was supposed to kill you? The director that you called? Somebody, the higher ups, like. Was he possibly blackmailed? Like I said, a lot of unanswered questions with this episode. And then you just end it. And you expect me to wait until next Thursday to figure out what in the world is going to happen. I am mute. No! No! Y you don't do that. That's not smart. That's not right. Like, why do that? There's got to be something between last week's episode, this week's episode, and next week's episode, which could be the finale of this arc. But I do like the fact that we finally got a little bit more about why Dice Games are this. Because he wants to know who killed his mom. I would want to know, especially if somebody killed my parent, and be like, hey, I'm going to do everything in my power to find out who in the world killed my family, and why in the world... They killed my parent or whoever it is, but it's just there's a lot of unanswered questions with this ish. And hopefully next week we get some more context on this because right now it feels like we're back at step one where okay, we have all this information, but that key. I need that key to pop up somewhere. He knows where he hid that key. He hid that key somewhere because he was the last person to see that key. Him, Cho, and the other dude were the last three people who saw that dang key before it mysteriously disappeared. So somebody has it. If Cho does not have that key, it's one of the other two. I'm sorry. It's gotta be that. Come on now. Let's be a little smart about that real quick. But, I mean, there's nothing else I can say about this episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of The Millionaire Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 8. Bye, guys.